Hi there, it's Leah from Made Matchless. Do you remember making these as a kid? Remember these? One of the earliest crafts I remember making in school were these paper chains. And do you know what holiday we made them for? Of course, we made them for Christmas. Now, what I loved about this as a kid was that I could keep track of exactly how many days there were until Christmas. And as each day passed, I'd rip another chain link off the bottom and would feel that excitement grow with each link ripped each day. As a mom now, I certainly appreciate this craft since the question of how many days until Christmas no longer needs to be asked several times a day. With this craft, I saw the end, I saw the goal, and it was to get to the paper star at the top. And that paper star meant that the days no longer needed to be counted, that the day was finally here. Now, in Psalm 90 verse 12, David asks for something from the Lord that we as moms should ask for as well. He says, so teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Now this past weekend, I was talking to some moms at a Made Matchless experience. So this is a mother-daughter event that I lead, and most of the day is about moms and daughters learning who they are in Christ, crafting, and having fun together. But at the end of the day, I have a very awesome privilege to chat with just the moms, and we get to have some honest discussion about the challenges of modeling God's truth to our daughters. Now, inevitably, the idea of how we spend our time comes up, whether we are stay-at-home moms, moms who work outside the home, type A moms. I mean, there's a whole gamut of matchless mamas who come to this event and I get to talk with them and time is always a topic. Wondering if we're using it to God's glory, wondering if the little things that we do as moms matter, wondering if our plans matter, asking if our plans leave room for our daughters to thrive, and really just the struggle many of us have with being so busy and so focused on our to-dos that we look back at the day and we ask God if it's really what he had for us, if this is really it. Now, maybe you weren't with us at the event, but I bet that as a mom, you've asked yourself those questions too. I know I have. We can fill our day with so much of our own agenda and not even ask God if this, all of this on my list is what is in his heart for me and those that I care about. See, we can kind of view our lives like this paper chain only in our lives, we can't see the end of the chain. And because we don't see the end of the chain, we can sometimes just assume that the chain goes on for a very, very long time. Like we have endless time to do all we want to do. We view time, days, hours, and minutes as givens. But the reality is just because we can't see the end of the chain doesn't mean we shouldn't number the chain. David in Psalm 90 verse 12 wisely asked God to teach us to number our days. We need to be taught to number our days, and we need to ask God to help us. Numbering our days means to have a sense that our days are indeed limited, and to view life through that lens. Do you ever notice how people who have lost a loved one, whether suddenly or over a period of time, have a deeper understanding of this than the rest of us? Through loss, they have learned that days can be very short and unexpectedly so. They know that the last paper link could be torn any day because that last link has been torn for their loved one. So the days that they have are deeply appreciated. The little moments with children are more precious. The to-dos are looked at with better perspective and time is seen as a gift, not a given. We admire these people but are glad too that we have not experienced that loss. And so we kind of can just continue on as normal. Moms friends, I don't want you and I to only number our days when we have learned the hard way through loss. And the good news is we don't have to. We can ask God today to teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. We can ask him to open our eyes each day to what is truly important to him when it comes to our families, our work, our relationships, how we use our talents, and how we use his truth. We can ask God to help us not see days as a given, but instead to see these days as a gift, as an opportunity. And I believe God will answer that prayer from a mom with a sincere heart. I'm so encouraged to know that a man as successful as King David needed God to help him number his days. 
so that he may get a heart of wisdom. And that's truth for us. As you go through this week, remember, the number of links on your chain is unknown. Let's be sure to number and cherish each one to God's glory. Thanks for watching today. If you'd like to subscribe to my newsletter, just visit www.madematchless.com slash subscribe and get on the list. This is Leah Tatina, and remember, you're made matchless.